Hey there, folks. I'm Claudia Morandi, founder of the Doctor Patient Forum, and this is my colleague Bev Schechtman. Uh, Bev makes me look good every step of the way. I would never be able to come on this platform and share uh, the knowledge that Bev has gained over the years. She's now on TikTok, so make sure you follow her so we can go live each week, answer your questions. That her TikTok name is at IBD Girl. Okay, 76. at. Oh, at IBD Girl 76. And we wanted to thank you all for supporting our Patreon page. Bev, we've just hit 290 plus patrons. Yes. Really, yes. really exciting. And we wanted to answer the first question for you folks here of the day. Question is, what should my mom say when the doctor tells her they won't give her pain medication because she take benzos. So I'm going to I'm going to give my answer first and then Bev's going to give her answer. And this is a long video, so bear with us. So I was I was never forced to choose, but I didn't want to be beholden to the PCP, so I weaned myself. And but when I was taking both, I remember even though I wasn't forced to choose, we had to have the conversation, well, what are the benefits? What are the risks? And I think for this lady, if she says to her doctor, you know, these are the benefits of me taking both of these medications uh, and you know I'm happy to sign a waiver relieving you of any liability should anything happen and I think if people don't drink alcohol and they take their medication as prescribed they're, they're fine taking I mean millions and millions have taken both of these medications safely what's your thought on it I would say it depends <clears throat> if is her mother already on both medications or is she just asking to be given both medications because it's different. Um, if she is not on both of them, I think the chances of getting a benzo with an opioid are slim to none. Uh, if she is already on them, it depends how many years she's been on them. And like you said, is she does she drink alcohol? Does she take any other controlled substances? The real reason that, there's, that they will prescribe is because of the DEA and DEA pressure. They really look at these combinations of medications even above and beyond almost anything else. So that's probably the reason. But if she's been on it for a while safely, I mean, I would just ask the doctor, uh, you know, is it possible just to stay on these medications because I've done so well on them? And then if they do force her to choose, yeah. I guess she's going to have to decide if she wants right. an opioid and a benzo or, or just the opioid, just the benzo. Perfect. Bev, we're going to hit that three-minute mark, and I don't want to cut you off. Uh, we're going to we're going to continue to answer your question, folks. You all keep fighting and we're going to do the same. Once again, thank you for supporting the Patreon page.